Hey guys, so as you guys should probably know, today is the day that we're going to put up our Christmas tree. And, you know, I like our decorations. So I don't know when we're starting it. Hopefully it's today, because I haven't started yet. Um, if you just go out here. Up here. That's my attic. That there. And I haven't gone up there yet. So yeah, that's pretty... Sad, honestly, but like, it's not really much to do, honestly. But like, it's just me, or does Christmas not feel like Christmas anymore? It's weird. I like, I'm, I'm excited for the presents. Well, heck yeah, but like, it, it doesn't feel right. Like, you know, look, look at this view from down here. I'm actually meant to be recording downstairs because my parents don't like their faces being on social media. So I'm going to have to go downstairs and go get a pair of lenses. Lenses, because you get lenses for iPads if you didn't know that. <laughs> Mine's broken. And they cost like, what, 100 so pounds? Bloody hell again. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to probably like leave you up there. But when probably when we finish, which is gonna be like in a couple of hours, I'll update you guys. I'll just bring it downstairs. Hopefully my iPad doesn't turn off because if it does, I'm gonna have to record after school tomorrow because today's Sunday. Uh yeah, after school tomorrow because obviously I can't record in school because there's no point in doing that because there's no Christmas trees in school and it's not my house. So yeah, um. Wait, no, I'll go downstairs and have a look to see. When are we doing the tree? Okay. Okay. So doing it in a minute as you as you could probably hear um this video is actually meant to be an among us thing um because obviously my among us characters i still haven't oh shit i almost fell off my bed like in the corner but whatever um like uh, how can i explain this um let me just put this up here real quick huh. okay so yeah how could I explain this? Um, so basically, um, we don't know what's gonna happen. Honestly, like I do, I don't even know what's gonna happen. But yeah, um, I also might do a video on him. Like one, like oh, by the way, my FNAF plushes. Um. The story that I did on the floor is going to be cancelled because I keep on forgetting to do them because I'm hella busy. So, yeah. Bloody hell. This is kid. Three kids. Two of them are in Christmas outfits and the other one isn't. Spasmozoids. Anyways, well it is Christmas but it doesn't mean you can have a freaking weird thing going on the street where you just ponce about and do stuff. But yeah. Um, like I love Christmas of course. I'm not a Grinch or anything. I don't come after me. I'm a child. I love Christmas. But yeah. So I might make a video on him. Mainly because I, I, I just kind of want to. But yeah, so he's going to be up here how? Hang on just for one second. There you go. That's finished. Better get you on charge because my iPad's gonna die. Um I'll might record after. 
so after when I've done the Christmas decorations, I might have to do that because if I don't, well, my iPad's probably going to die because it's on, like, what percentage is on now? 17%. Yeah, 17%. And uh, basically, I am going to have to wait. Yeah, you're just going to have to wait. But yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, um, new videos will be coming out soon on the Among Us thing. Country balls, I'm not sure. Because, like what I said, Chris Decorations filming of the elf up there. The hell? Um, Among Us are going to draw the rest of the maps, including new skins is coming up. So yeah, I might. I was going to start my video earlier on, but I was watching a Christmas movie, so I couldn't be bothered. It was after Christmas, you know that? Yeah, good one that is. Um, I think it was made in like 2014, I can't remember, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's very popular, five stars. Yeah, um... So yeah, I'm pr incredibly bl um, busy at the moment. But yeah, um, I might do some homework if I can, to see if I've got any. Because I'm pretty sure my teacher put some on my maths my maths teacher but yeah i got spots everywhere on my chin apparently my health and well-being says according to girls health and study apparently go through puberty you get like chin spots on your chin i think it happens to boys as well i'm not sure but you get spots on your chin and like normally around your cheeks which i'm really pissed off about but it doesn't matter because I look nice anyways. But I'm just going to have to wait for them to go away. I have a cream in my bathroom. And it's not working. It's like spasm cream. <laughs> I'm sorry. Spasm cream. And basically. Shut up, big mum. No, it's, it's this. It's from Norway. So it's Norwegian. Uh, deep moisture body lotion. This does help because body lotion smooths the skin. So technically it, it takes spots away because it smooths your skin. Wait, so if it's like that, look. Just trying to that thing on TikTok, you know, like to... Don't mind me, just try nothing on TikTok. Look how fat I am, man. I'm, just, I'm like putting on weight, man. I've got no curves. I have, actually. Look at that. I have. Oh, my God. I've improved. This hasn't. <laughs> That's not proven. Okay. Fat. Anyways, put this on my face. Bloody. It comes out so fast. Bloody hell. Don't you just hate when you put lotion on? Like for the first time in a couple of weeks or a couple of months or even years probably. I don't know. Can lotion go off? No, it can't. No, I don't think it can. But anyways, like... You know you haven't used it for like a couple of months or weeks, like what I said. And the t like when you sp squeeze it out and it goes onto your hand, like the top bit of it, the first thing that ever came out of the nozzle is like dry and like plasticky. And it's like a big clump. That, I got that. I hate that. I just gotta find the spot. Oh, bang on. So what you gotta do is just find the spot. I'm not a beauty guru. I can't wear makeup. I can't wear makeup because I'm allergic to stuff, isn't it? Kind of allergic, but it'll, it'll bring me out with a rash. I can't really put it on. But yeah. Any other spots? Yes, on my nose. Oh, the bloody worst ones on my nose. And like, I can't help but, like, you know, I can't help it. What the hell? Like, dude, I can't help that I've got a spot on my nose. It's a part of growing up. And yet again, people still 
yet again people still judge me for having spots on my face and I have a positive reason I'm getting older right I can't help it that I'm growing I've got to it's life I've got to do it it's really important that you go up because you want to start the population you want to get family children you know you want to stop every whenever every single baby is born every minute and everybody's dying every minute of murder cases whatever natural causes you die at an old age it's uh, everywhere right and yet again people still continue to make fun of kids with spots on their faces because they're getting older like but every child is born different but it still fills up the population so you're one in a million my friend yes you are you're technically one in a million why because you're one of the world's population you're in a different country so what you're fine Ever suffered bullying? Same. Chill. Yeah, yeah. Have I got an Adam's apple? Am I a boy? What? No, I haven't. Never mind. Oh, oh I just pinched through my cheek. I swear I've got an Adam's apple sticking out there. What was that noise? Oh my yay! Oh, it's just my sock. I'm dumb, but yeah. One in a million. That's right, my friend. You are one in a million. But yeah, you're one in a million and I don't want you guys to forget that. I'm really good at pickup lines. Is the is the word or saying that you're one in a million a good thing or a bad thing? I don't do pickup lines. Oh that went in my eyeball. Don't put lotion in your eyes, kids. I haven't got a moustache. Yes, girls can get beards. We can. It all depends if you get older. Like, if you really happen to my auntie. She was 95 when she died. In a hospital, not in her house. Nobody cared for her. Nobody. She grew up, um, got a husband. Husband died. Don't know how. He just did maybe like cancel or something, I don't know. She was left it all alone. Not even her own daughter could take care of her. Nobody took care of her, not even herself. She couldn't even be bothered to get up. She was too ill to get up. And then she died. Hospital. So nobody cared about her at all. I'm peed off about that, even though she died years ago. Like 2019, 2018, I can't remember. But yeah. Like, sometimes I just realise, why did people leave her alone? Like, she was a poor old lady, and she just got left alone. She developed a beard, and every time that she breathed, like, took a breath, like, <sighs> like, out of her mouth, like, dust would come out of her mouth. Literal dust. You can see it in the sunlight from her window. Spiders everywhere. Sun, the sun is, like, beaming through her windows, like, Every time, like, like that. She even developed a beard because, obviously, you couldn't shave. Mainly because she couldn't look after herself. And she couldn't get up. She had to go to the hospital. Many operations. All that's finished. And, basically, nobody looked after her. Like, literally, no one. She had to suffer the consequences of having to stay in her house 24-7, feeding cats that... I used to come up. Are there people outside? There's more than one person outside, bitch. There's more than one person outside. Shutting the door. Shutting the door now. Shutting the door. I hear something. Not the hell. Bloody weird. But yeah, she just got left alone. And I'm peed about that because... Of how old she was, it's unbelievable. 95. 
Like, oh my god. Like, my auntie got left alone to die in a really old house that was there in the 90s and probably the 80s. She lived a long life till her husband died. She got really depressed. That's when she had my... That's when she had her daughter. I'm not going to tell her her name because... That's when she had her daughter. Daughter's growing up now, of course. Um, then she just died in hospital. No, nobody talked about it. Her house now is being knocked down because of how old it is. You won't believe the state that it was like in. Like I wish I had a picture of it and just showed it to you, but I, I didn't. Like you know, like she used to have big glasses like that. She used to knit me like different types of like clothings and stuff. Man, I miss her so much. She was lovely, bro. But it's just life in it. You gotta die. You you got to. Natural causes, you have to, it's part of life. But it's, it's pretty hard to talk about on the internet because it is, like, I want to express my feelings, but, like, I, I'd i rather write it down than say it out to the internet because this is going to half of the world. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But, yeah. You know, it's, it's terrible we can leave a harmless old lady to die on her own. Nobody would have looked after her. Like, she forgot who my grandma was. Because my grandma is her sister. And my other auntie, not the auntie now that I'm talking about, the one that's dead, my other auntie, who's also old, they are three sisters. All of them are sisters. They had one brother called John. He was, like, in the war and stuff like that, like World War One. And he died. I never know him, ob I know him obviously because I've never seen him before because he died a long time ago. And then it was just them three left until my auntie died. My grandma now is in hospital. My other grandma, who was my dad's parents, they both died. I feel like the only child in my family, but yet again, I've got my cousins. My other cousin's called Maddie as well like i gotta believe myself that they're also on this earth like i always feel like in my family that i'm the only youngest one but like i've got a four-year-old cousin she's already developing here bloody hell like jesus christ she's developing like blondish hair is it blonde or like strawberry blonde so like kind of like ginger but it doesn't matter i i got all of this on like by my side but the fact that one family member has been left to rot. Has been left to rot. And just fade away in the darkness of the hospital where nobody could talk to her. It's disgusting. The fact that nobody cared before that she just died. Just nobody, nobody. I'm pretty pissed, actually. Hmm. This got a bit dramatic. I'm so sorry. But yeah, just don't... Don't forget about someone. Don't make fun of them and say, Oh, you'll always be forgotten. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's depressing and sad. Because some people's family members have been forgotten. Nobody took care of them. Nobody did anything. She developed things in her body that probably no other human being, being would have. She had 73 operations. 73. Then a couple three after that. But yeah. 75 then. 73, 75. 75 operations. And all in different places of her body. That's how worse it was. It, it wasn't the best. But I didn't get to see her in hospital mainly because I couldn't go. 
But my other auntie, her heart is almost outside of her chest. It's like that lump on her chest. Her heart is gone wrong, but she's not dead yet. She's still happy and thriving. Her house is okay. My grandma and her have both got something in common. They like elephants. They like them, right? They like elephants. They've got elephants all around their house. Well, my auntie does, but my grandma, ever since she's been gone in the hospital, I don't get to see her much of her anymore. My grandma's crying because she can't see me until she comes out of this stupid coronavirus. Thanks, China. But yeah, I'm sorry if I've offended anybody, but yeah. I'm like, why just don't eat bats? Just don't. Like, not all of China does it. I mean, like, I'm not racist. I'm not mean. I wouldn't go over to a Chinese person and just say, are oh, you invented COVID? I can't say that. That's nasty. But the people over there, right, they've also forgotten people. Like, almost every family has got to have forgotten someone. I didn't forget anyone. But John, my grandma's brother, so is my auntie who died, and my auntie with the heart thing. She died. I never got to see his face. I never even know what he looked like. But if I was alive back in those times, I would have loved to see my own uncle. Standing right there, because I've got uncles now. And they're pretty funny, honestly. But yeah. Like, I love my family, but like, if somebody's forgotten, I'm pretty peed off, off, honestly. And the fact that I've never saw John, who was my dead uncle, ever, it, just, it really breaks my heart because I wanted, I wanted to see him. Ever since my mum told me that, well, my grandma told me that she had a brother called John, making me want to see him so badly. I saw a picture of him once. He looked, he looked nice at a young age. But like I thought. He died at pretty much of a young age again, but I can't remember of what. But yeah, I, it's just depressing. Sorry if this video is too long, but hopefully you can stay. But yeah, I think I might go now. But yeah, I'll update you guys on the tree. And yeah, uh, yeah I'll update you guys on the tree. And yeah, so yeah, if anybody's forgotten in your family, make sure to remember them and never say any anything to, like that. Like. Oh, you'll never be remembered. You'll be forgotten by so many people. Like, it's not funny. Shut up. You don't understand things that those people have probably gone through. So, yeah. Be nice to each other. Like and subscribe. Also, if you want more of these videos, I am happy to post more. So, yeah. See you later, potatoes. Bye!